Now we are going to discuss about hydromechanical fuel control unit of gas turbine engine. In hydromechanical fuel control unit, there is two sections. Mainly, it is divided into two sections. One is your metering sections. Another one is your computing section. In metering section, we used to meter the fuel which is delivered to the combustor, and in the computing section, we used to calculate the quantity of the fuel to be delivered. So as shown in the figure, there is the dotted line you can see. The, all the dotted lines are called the computing section, whereas these undotted lines are metering sections. In metering section, there is one wall is called mainly this metering wall, which will meter the fuel as per the requirement and it will maintain a differential pressure differential fuel flow between the unmetered fuel and the meter fuel which is controlled by your differential bypass valve and in computing section there is the throttle valve will be there and one fly rate mechanism which will maintain the speed and as well as which will deliver the fuel as per the RPM requirement ok now this is the one shut up lever is provided the shut up lever is only for to shut up the engine when there is when there is no use of the gas turbine engine in case of there is any emergency shutdown also you can use the shut up valve and some other cases for example if we want to try to shut down the in the turbine engine by using this metering bypass valve then what will happen we have to set the metering bypass for ideal running of the engine right as you know ideal running must be there for ideal running we have set one knob is here for minimum fuel flow which will maintain a minimum amount of fuel to be delivered to the combustor so that engine will alive at ideal conditions so this metering valve will not suck up the fuel completely to the combustor so that's why we provide one shut up lever which will shut up the fuel flow to the combustor to shut down the engine clear now comes to the part of the first we will discuss about the throttle part how throttle is going to maintain the fuel flow the first thing it is maintaining this is this uh, metering unit will maintain a different equal constant differential pressure between the unmetered and meter fuel flow for example if you are taking consideration of to maintain a 5 psi difference in the pressure so what is here there is one bypass valve which is having a spring tension and spring tension is set for the 5 psi pressure differential so what will happen for example consider the fuel unmetered fuel is coming with the pressure for example take it as a 10 psi then then this metering valve will allow the fuel to be flow at least minimum 5 psi to be delivered because it has to maintain the differential of 5 psi pressure so meter uh, fuel pressure and unmeter fuel pressure between these two the differential must be 5 psi as per our example then when the pressure of the unmeter fuel will increase for example this uh, 10 psi becomes 15 psi then what will happen then here whatever the fuel is delivering to the combustor which is which earlier it was 5 psi now it will increase because of the input flow is increase yes or no and the increase the differential this is 5 and this is become 15 now it is increased for example this is 15 so differential will be how much 5 to 15 now it is for example this is now 5 and this is your 50 10. so your difference will be now 10 10 psi so but we, this unit is to maintain the pressure differential must be 5 psi so what will happen when this this pressure will increase to the 15 psi then one side of the metering bypass valve will act 15 psi and other side will be the 5 psi then that 15 psi additional 5 psi will force this valve to go back and maintain and allow the fuel to be bypassed, the excessive fuel to be bypassed and to maintain a constant position where the pressure differential of this uh, before the metering valve and after the metering valve will be maintained as 5 psi. 
so that is work in conjunction with one side your pressure will be the metering fuel pressure plus the spring tension and other side will be the unmetered fuel pressure so this way this will maintain the differential pressure constant differential pressure so that fuel will be delivered in a proper amount but this opening of the metering valve also is measured by the throttle assembly rpm and the pressures inside the turbine engine okay how first we comes to the throttle part then as we know that is the flyweight mechanism which will which will run then when the rpm will increase then the flyweight will move apart and rpm when it is decrease then it will come together so in this diagram the uh, when the rpm will increase then this flyweight will move apart okay by compressing this spin which will move this servo servo ball to the upward which will increase or decrease this is mainly for uh, pressure is uh, here the pressure requirement will be based on the rpm for example you want to maintain one constant rpm so when rpm will increase beyond the limit what will happen this flywheel will move apart it will force the pilot valve to move up and move this metering valve in the closing direction so that your fuel flow will be reduced decrease then your rpm will come down to the normal range and when this rpm will go down below the specified limit then what will happen this flywheel will move together closer and this this force the valve to come down and allow this metering valve to open more so that more fuel will deliver to the combustor so that it will maintain the rpm now comes to the throttle part when the throttle will be when you are moving the throttle for the increased direction then it will press this into the direction where the fly rate will show the under speed conditions means for example when we are increasing the throttle towards the forward direction to increase the power that means we are having under power so that we want to increase the power so what will happen when you push the throttle forward that will press the spring and make the fly rate to act as under speed then when it is acting as under speed then what will happen this will this linkage will allow this metering valve to open further so that allow more fuel to be delivered to the combustor to maintain a constant power as per the throttle set next when you pull it back then what will happen it release the pressure over the spring then flywheel will act as over speed then this will close this metering valve so that the fuel delivered to the combustor will reduce and your speed will come down next part comes to the this part and next part is your another competing section which we have to consider about the pressure because we have to deliver the fuel as per the weight we have to deliver the fuel as per the weight so that is determined by the two values is there one is your combustor pressure and another one is your inlet pressure so inlet pressure this is connected through a mechanical linkage which is arranged in such a way that when the burner pressure will increase then it will allow the fuel to flow more so that because more uh, air will be there air density will be more mass of the air will be more then weight of the air will be more so that we have to deliver more fuel for the better combustion and power efficiency so for that what happen when the pressure in the combustor will increase what will happen this bellow will expand and expand this will force this linkage to this direction so that this this linkage is having one pivot point and the other direction will force in the forward direction which is linkage linked with your metering valve which force the metering valve to open and allow more fuel to be delivered to the combustor the next inlet pressure when inlet pressure is arranged in opposite way so that and it is attached to the same side of the pivot so that when it will increase the inlet uh, inlet compressor uh, pressure will increase then that pressure will move the pivot 
in the forward direction and which will move the mitten wall to open direction and allow the more fuel to be delivered to the combustor and similarly this both are combined the works always whenever there is inlet pressure will increase increase simultaneously combustor pressure also will increase and this way this all will control the the position of the throttle the rpm the burner pressure and the inlet compressor pressure all combinedly will monitor the total amount of fuel to be delivered to the engine okay now this as per this all setting whatever the position will be the metering valve but the differential pressure will be maintained whatever the preset value that is as per example what we have we have considered that is 5 psi okay understood yes